Hello folks, uh, today I'm just going to show you how to fix a blown out core in the Orion Nebula. And if you, if you look at the picture I captured from last night, you'll see that there's almost no detail in this section here. And what a lot of people do for, for something like this is they take longer exposures for the outside area of the Orion Nebula, and then they take shorter exposures for this section so that they don't blow out the core. And that's probably the way I should be doing it. But if, if, if you don't do it, there, there's an alternative to getting that detail back because it's, it's still in there, even though it looks blown out. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a mask of the nebula. Let's just blow this all the way up there. So I'm going to hit this button. Uh, extract the luminance. I'm not sure really what that means. Extract C-I-E-L component. And it's going to pull out all my light into a separate picture here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it back to the picture so we've got a mask of our nebula. So I'm going to do that. And what it's doing right there is it's it's going to protect all of the background from away from what I'm going to do. If I wanted to actually update the background, I could invert the mask like that. And now I would be protecting the nebula and not be able to update the background actually. But I want to update the nebula. So I'm going to invert the mask. And now it's protecting the background with the red. The deeper the red, the more protection you get. And let's not look at the mask. Let's just look at regular data. Even though the mask is still turned on, now all we have to do is go into all processes and click on HDR multi-scale transform. Of course, my friend Doug again showed me this trick. He lives local to me and he's full of good information. And you can just leave the default values as is. Click this square here. Let it process, it'll be done in a moment. And look at that, we can actually see the core and the, and the stars that make up the core. If I zoom in, look at how much detail we just picked up. Uh, now if I go back, that's the old look, that's the new look. So that's a pretty cool trick if you have a blown out core. And, and all I did was use the default values of HDR multi-scale transform. So thanks again, Doug, that's a pretty good trick. So, okay, that's all I got. See you later.